Good morning. It's Monday, April 19th. Happy birthday, Tian. I'm going to talk about being a potter and, and the issue of stress reduction or, or therapy for potters or whatever. There, there are many people who get into ceramics as a form of therapy to ease up from everything else they do in their lives. And, and I get that. Uh, and it's going to, you know, be different for every person. I mean, some of it's just the touching, some of it's the delight of getting something out of a kiln that was worth the effort, some of it's the uh, problem solving. Uh, you know, I, I like doing Sudokus for the same reason, that, that, that little buzz of, you know, uh, accomplishment. But, you know, then you get into being a part-time potter or a full-time potter. And suddenly it's, you know, it's more stressful. It's not always therapeutic. Sometimes it is the problem. <clears throat> and like any situation in which you're self-employed, it's extra hard to take time off. I mean, I've joked that you're, you know, when you're self-employed, your boss is often a rat bastard. But... The fact of the matter is that the finances often require you to just, you know, get on the bicycle and keep pedaling in it. And there's this sense that if you stop pedaling, you're going to fall off. Um, and I do find that as a ceramicist, often the stress when I'm feeling stressed is not about the pots. It's about money. It's about deadlines. It's about uh, hoops I didn't want to jump. And sometimes, you know, there are ways you can find other people to deal with that. For instance, you know, taxes, you know, there are people who get paid to do taxes. It's okay. So one of the things I recommend when you're feeling squeezed is to find little ways to give yourself inexpensive vacations. <clears throat> and Sometimes that can be as simple as, a, you know, if you're traveling, a different choice for where you eat. You know, you, you could go to X, which would be boring and reliable, but instead you go to Y, which is a little more expensive, but more interesting and better food and, and a better story and so forth. And one of the things uh, I would do with my kids when we went to things is usually going out, uh, for one thing, you don't have much money. Going out, you're all stressed about going to the event and being ready and doing the things. So you don't want to, shall we say, fart around sightseeing. But coming back, it's up to you. You can make choices about how hard you work getting back. And several years in a row, we would go to our annual thing out in Pennsylvania. And then, and then instead of driving straight back, we would go, you know, I looked at a map and I looked, look, oh, we're six hours from a beach. And, you know, we went to uh, Assati Island uh, two years in a row to look at the wild ponies and to, you know, listen to seashell, uh, seagulls and, and walk in the sand. It cost a little more money, but it wasn't the same as stopping everything and fa paying full price for a proper you know, rich person's vacation. It was just taking an opportunity and using an extra day or two. I recommend it highly when it's safe. Have a good day.